Only on CBS4 tonight, we go along with inspectors as they check oil and gas operations in Colorado. The governor ordered the inspections following that deadly home explosion in Firestone. That explosion was caused by leaking gas from an abandoned well. So far, no more leaks have been discovered. Investigator Rick Sounder went along with inspectors today as they examined some of those facilities. Rick joins us live from Weld County tonight. And Rick, any surprises today? Well, Karen, it is appearing more and more on the basis of these inspections so far that what happened in Firestone was more of a one-off event than a symptom of dangerous leaks being widespread. What happened here took two lives, injured others, and touched off a mad dash to inspect other oil and gas sites. I do notice that this facility is completely shut in, and it appears that they have marked the lines. We accompanied inspectors from the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission. Their job to make sure the type of leak that happened in Firestone is not present elsewhere. Thousands of facilities located within a thousand feet of homes are being inspected around the state. Most of that is being done by the operators themselves. Mike Leonard has been doing this for the state for many years. We have houses right over here. What would you tell the homeowners about their safety? I would say I live near oil and gas production and it doesn't doesn't concern me. But what happened in Firestone has many homeowners concerned who live near wells, storage tanks, and the flow line. The one reason we have dispatched operators to go through this verification process is because we do feel a sense of urgency. We want people to be assured that you don't have a, another situation like we saw in Firestone. In that case, a non-producing well had been turned on. A flow line had been cut for unknown reasons, sending gas into the ground. A perfect storm that created a terrible tragedy. There are still many more inspections to be done before the people who live in homes like these can rest more easily. Live in Weld County, Rick Salinger, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Rick.